big brother is watching and he's being supported by artificial intelligence. What does that mean for us? Morning Truth Seekers, Dennis Nappy II with Sixth Sense Media. Just the other day I did a video talking about the rollout of the Real ID in 2020 where states are required to be compliant with federal guidelines where you won't be able to fly on an airplane or uh, enter a federal facility. Now, as a reading from the Department of Homeland Security's website in that video, uh, what it stated was that this will not be used to compile a federal database of persons' identifications. Each state will control them. That seems to have been violated already, and I suggested that in that past video. An article came out recently that talks about the FBI and ICE using state IDs to compile their own database for facial recognition purposes. Your ID is already being used for facial recognition. Now, we are scanned hundreds of times a day by various cameras and, and cell phones everywhere we go. Now, you throw artificial intelligence into the mix, and we're constantly being monitored and assessed and evaluated by a system that is far superior in processing data and information. What's interesting now is that also Instagram has announced that it is rolling out artificial intelligence to try to control hate speech. They're going to be focusing on teens and bullying, so they say, and they're going to give a warning here if a post seems to be hateful or hurtful. Uh, try to warn them to give them pause to think about it. Now, of course, this seems like a great idea because cyberbullying is a, is a horrible thing. But when you have an AI monitoring your speech before you even post it, what's the ultimate goal here? Now, we know that social media is used for things like social engineering. Here in the United States, we don't think that's apparent, but you look at places like China and their social credit system. This is coming. Social media is being used to drive human behavior. Now, what would happen if all of a sudden your belief system, your political affiliation, your sexual orientation is no longer accepted in society? And social media, along with artificial intelligence, along with facial recognition, is now being used to enforce that policy. We think it can't happen here, but it has happened in other countries throughout the world. What should we do moving forward in looking at that? Something to think about. Lastly, I noticed that they are now rolling out a drone system in Britain to enforce traffic regulations. So we've got automation, AI, and robots in a variety of different ways that are integrating with our society. What does that mean for us? How will we function moving forward? Some fascinating things going on in the world, my friends. We need to keep our eyes on it as always. And lastly, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to pre-order your copy of I am Human Food for the Archons. You can get it on Kindle for just $7.99. That book drops on July 24th. I also now have special signed copies for a select few of you out there. SixthSenseMedia.net slash Archons. It's available for pre-order as well. That's all the time I have. Remember to never stop questioning, keep an open mind, and let your intuition be your guide. Thanks for watching.